Welcome guys, this is Srikant here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bottom navigation bar in Flutter. Here is a glimpse of bottom app bar which we are going to create for this demo. Let's get started. I'm going to create a stateless widget. My app. Resolve the errors. Add a void main. Change the container to material app. Add home. Create another stateless widget for my home page. Add a scaffold. Add a body. Add some text over there. S center it. Run the app and see the output. You can see that the app is loaded now. It's a very simple app. Now let's add the bottom bar. In order to add bottom bar, we have something called bottom navigation bar in scaffold. You can see that bottom navigation bar takes widget. So I'm going to add something called bottom app bar. Instead of bottom app bar, you can also add bottom navigation bar. For our purpose, we are going to add bottom app bar and then add some content over here. Container. Give some height and then save. You can see there is slight white line over here. Let me add a row of icons. Now we have added some icons. Let me spread them across the bottom app bar. You can see that icons are spread across the app bar. Since they are very close to the end of the screen, let me add some padding. Let me change padding only to horizontal. And you can see there is some nice space at the end of the icons. So right now, this is a very basic app bar. Now let me add a floating action button. Let's not do anything when pressed. Assign an icon. Now we have a floating action button. So let me move this floating action button to the center of the screen and dock it here. In order to move this to the center of the screen, I'm going to set a location. Within scaffold, we have something called floating action button location. Floating action button will be center docked. You can see the icon is docked now. Within bottom app bar, we have something called shape. We can set that to circular notched rectangle. Now you can see a very small gap between the floating action button and the bottom app bar, which makes it look very nice. After moving the floating action button to the center, what happened is the space between these two icons is not sufficient. If I could move this icon slightly left side and this icon slightly right side, it will make much better. In order to make it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sizer box between the icons. I'm going to use sizer box dot string, which is going to add a very little space between the icons. You can see that we have created a very beautiful bottom navigation bar. Let me change the bottom app bar color so that you could see the notch clearly. Now you can see the gap clearly. Let me change the icon colors to white so that it will look much better. 
that's it in this demo we have actually created a very good bottom app bar that's it for this video thank you so much for watching have a nice day